Alrighty guys, what is going on? Corbin with Corbin's Cornhole Reviews back again for another episode. Got my buddy Kyle here. He's going to help me throw some bags today. So we have the locals today. Uh, we're going to be doing the Warrior and the Outlaw. I think Henderson and Hisner throw the Outlaw. Uh, Warrior feels really nice as well. But before we get into it, I do have two sponsors, uh, Black Sheep Baggers, blacksheepbaggers.com. Use code Corbin5 for 10% off. Bags, boards, accessories, apparel, their customer service is amazing. Please go check them out. I also have the Cornhole Cave. He's a brick and mortar out of Wichita, Kansas. So go see your boards, see the bags, get a t-shirt while you're there, um, all that good stuff. So uh, if you are interested in my Patreon, that is also down below. Let's go. Uh, Local was nice enough to send me these bags. So thank you, Chris. That was very awesome of you. Uh, he sent four sets, so I will have the other two sets coming at some point as well. Uh, they're all ACL Pro stamped. They all have the new Alien resin that they have going on. It feels really, really good. Uh, but let's get into specs. Price. I think they're like 70 or 80 bucks, something like that per set. Um, very well priced. Uh, kind of local to me, actually. They're in uh, Ohio, so fairly local. But price is not bad at all for the quality of bag that you're getting. Uh, break-in method. They did their pro break-in on these bags. So they come from local, broken in, which is awesome. I mean, I've we've just thrown these and... They're pretty much there. Uh, so I don't think you have to really do anything to them if you get the pro break-in method. If you don't, do some toss sauce, toss them in the washer with some clothes, whatever. You know, they're not going to take much to break in just given the materials that they are. So we'll move on to speeds. This one's tricky for me. I'm really trying to figure out the slow side material. It almost feels like like deadhead, but kind of surefire. It's, it's somewhere in there. So it's right now it's playing like five-ish, um, and that's on both. They both share the same slow side, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the Outlaw fast side is eight, and the Warrior fast side is nine. So same material, just flipped. Uh, they both play really, really nice. They're incredibly hole-friendly. Right now it's a little humid, but they're still playing really, really nice. Uh, playability on these guys. I'm sorry, 3S. We have Phil, Feel, and Flop. The Phil. It's, it's this new alien Phil. It's definitely a blend. Uh, I, I feel some mixed in there. I just felt a little little bead in this one as well. It just feels good. In the hand, you pick it up, and it feels like a nice bag. Um, overall feel of the bag is nice. Corner seams and edges are good. Closing stitch is pretty good. Uh, double reinforced, so I like that. Um, I mean, they feel good. The materials are nice. It's a slightly larger template, but not really a problem. And then overall flop, yeah, decently floppy. Uh, it's not too crazy, but, I mean, this one, that a lot does get a little, little floppier. Um, and I also have the... What I have, I have the demons and then the legends, I believe. So um, I will get to those, and they're all they're all gonna be fairly floppy bags. But now we can get into playability. <sighs> Blocks, pushes, definitely pushes, <laughs> and that's slow side or fast side. Um, I was actually flopping the outlaws when we were warm enough. We'll see if I can continue to do that. That might just be because of the humidity, uh, but they're playing really nice. Blocking is going to be a little tricky. We're going to try and see what happens. Uh, sneak around on the backside for sure on that fast side if you can step out slowly around and drop. Um, airmail drags are going to be a breeze with these. So um, just nice overall back. So let's get to tossing. I'm going to throw the Outlaws and Kyle's going to throw the Warriors. I'm going to whoop on them. Ouch. And we're going to see what happens. So we're starting all slow side as per usual. I mean, they're still, they're climbing. Yours actually seem a touch slower. Yeah. Maybe it's the throw. I was trying to block. That was pretty slow. Yeah, it was pretty slow. <laughs> Insert Kyle. Here we go. And they're, they're going to do what you want them to. The slow side does play very nice. Um, I feel like if it got in an indoor sticky situation... They might, uh, they might gum up a little bit. Whoops. But they're playing okay. Um, I, I'm trying to figure out this slow side because it's not surefire material. But I'm pretty sure it's not deadhead material either. Man, I should have consulted uh, Eddie beforehand because he knows all his materials. I know the fast size, but the slow side is something a little different. But I think when it gets broken in and dirtied up a little bit, it might slow down. Slow. slow. Yep. All slow still. Down and back slow, down and back fast. Mm, 
You'll have to forgive Kyle. He's a slow learner. <laughs> He's working on it. There's the block. So I'm going to try to get around this one. Try to get around on slow side. Oh. It's the right call. Slow side still moves. I mean, that bag might come back. Got a feeling. Oh, yeah. I know what Kyle's going to do with this last one. You could go for it, absolutely. A little hot. A little hot, not today. It's it's moving, but it's not it's not moving too much where I don't want a slow side to keep flying, you know? No, no, not at all. It's it's not viper slow or anything like that. So now comes the uh scared to throw portion. <laughs> We're throwing all fast side now. Uh, you just got to loft them. That's really it. Got to hit the board, though. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> I thought that was a front board. I thought that was front board all day. But that's that's how quick these bags are. You just loft, and there they go. I thought it was moving still. Maybe not. Oh, boy. That's off. Now it's moving. Yeah, the fast side... Uh, Kyle basically has Viper fast. I have Surefire fast. There it goes. Yeah. Stupid fast. Ah. I'm just trying to baby him too much. There it is. You should throw fast bags. He just knows that fast side because Viper ours. I don't, I don't mind fast bags. I just like what I can do in I slow bags. Totally agree with you. I say it all the time. I'm like, I understand fast bag throwers. I completely understand a fast bag. Oh, I just don't like it. Exactly. <laughs> it's a boring game to me. There's so much more you can do. There's so much you can do. Yep. Yeah, so we'll see if we can lay some blocks once we uh, flip back over to slow. That was better. That's stupid. It's just so dumb what they can do. Oh, that's off. No, they're they're fast, but they're controllable. Um, Wow. You're blocking fast side? I thought that was front board. We're blocking fast side? Okay. <laughs> I was just trying to clean up too. I need to reset. Silly, silly boy. Oh. oh. Good bags. <laughs> you know now I gotta go over it, right? Oh, yeah. I can't just leave you there. I'll, I'll go over on fast side though, just in case. Oh, that's off. Later. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Later. That bag's a goner. Uh, all right, let's get into some alternating here. Getting our normal play styles, um, you know, fast, slow, whatever you want to do, um, whatever side of the bag feels good at the moment. I'm going to try to lay a block. Okay. We're going to see what happens. Cut over. I mean, it worked. Do it. That was nasty little, little cut over. Oop. I will do the same. Yeah. It lifted. It lifted. They want to do it. I might do it. Give me extra blockers, though. Yeah, see, they, they want to do it. They want to flop. They want to roll. Oh, gosh. I'm just going to try to clean her up. Oh, that was gorgeous. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was pretty, though. Uh, prettier if you missed that. <laughs> it's prettier if you're all nervous and shoot it off the side like oh he made that shot crap and that's that's what it is i know it's yeah, putting the pressure, put the pressure on that's it the review pressure <laughs> better watch out review pressure here we come yeah it's i i like how they play um i've only thrown a couple other locals prior i'm trying to remember that's off to the right I'm trying to remember Oh, I did the Hustler Axe. That's what it was. I did not like that bag. That was like, uh, it was almost like a wizard. It was just so incredibly bouncy that I couldn't really do anything with it. Ah, I was trying to go over it. Yeah, that Hustler Axe was was just weird. I'm just going to go fast. I'm slipping in here. Oh, no, I'm not. It was terrible. That might come all the way back. No? Yeah, the Hustler X I didn't love. Uh, I heard that did change. Uh, I have the Challengers, which are... Or do I have the Champions? I think it's the Challengers. 
they're crazy bouncy too. They're kind of like Neptune. Um, but local, I think with this alien fill, they've really changed up what they're doing. Um, I just like it. It does feel different than the other local bags that I've thrown. So come on, cut over. I might try to grab that. Not anymore. <laughs> so you guys know Henderson and Hissner throw these. Uh, they're the main pros that throw locals. Oh no. I meant to just oh. clean that up. <laughs> you did it too. I I bring you back then. I'm going to try to grab it. Nope. Um, but Henderson and Hissner, I want to say they throw the outlaws. I'm not. <sighs> I think they're outlaws. Because they wouldn't throw the demons. I know they're not throwing demons. Yeah, I think they throw outlaws. Um, so they can get a little sticky. I know that because they like a stickier bag. But I think they're playing nice. I really like them. And I don't think they're all this alien design. Unless they're the alien resin. All the ones that I have have the, the alien design. But if that's not your thing, I get it. But they do play nice. So I wouldn't be too concerned about that design. I would... Okay. We'll sneak around on fast side. That's almost a great play. Almost a great play. I don't know what to do. Bumper off you. That'll work. You might be able to get that still. Do it. <laughs> That's stupid. That's stupid. That is stupid. Ooh. Yeah, boy. Didn't front board it, though. Yeah. Sneak around. Atta boy. I'm going to try to collect that. End the video on a nice, nasty collect. Man, fast side, slow side. <laughs> I don't think slow side's got enough oomph to get it. Definitely... I gotta go. I gotta go fast side, but I gotta hit the darn bag. I gotta land on it, basically. Oh, <laughs> that's all right. We can we can leave it there. That was in that state on fast side too. <laughs> uh, so that is uh, huh? That bag was on slow side. Was it on slow? Yeah. Did it flip over onto slow. Nasty. So that, guys, is the uh, little local spotlight. Look at those things just scoop. Got the uh, the Outlaws and the Warriors here. Both play really nice. That's, I mean, it's, it really just depends on what fast side you prefer, uh, you know, whether it's an 8 on the on the Outlaw or a 9 on the Warrior. So uh, both are nice. I think Warrior actually feels a touch more full, just a touch. I didn't really get to feel the Outlaws that much. I think the Warrior is just oh, a touch yeah. fuller. Oh, yeah. Um, but they both feel good. Yeah, I mean, it really good depends too. what you like um, on speeds. That speed is really going to be your your big choice there. So I liked them both. They both played great. Um, thanks, Kyle, for coming to throw with me for this one. And uh, absolutely, that's the uh, the short and sweet on the local bags, Outlaw and Warrior. I do have more locals to come, so be sure to check that out. Uh, but if you guys like this one, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your buddies. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.